The UK shipbuilding industry has been experiencing a resurgence lately. This is driven by ambitious developments at iconic shipyards such as Harland and Wolf and the cutting-edge innovations spearheaded by Bay Systems. These key players are reshaping the industry and contributing to the nation's maritime prowess in an era of global challenges and opportunities. These new developments signal a new future for the UK shipping industry. The ongoing investments in technology, talent, and infrastructure not only reflect a commitment to sustainable growth, but also ensure that the sales of the UK shipping industry are set for a bright and prosperous future. Nestled on the banks of the River Lagan in Belfast, Harland and Wolfe, with a storied history dating back to 1861, is undergoing a remarkable renaissance. Once synonymous with the construction of the Titanic, the shipyard has faced challenges in recent years. However, a strategic acquisition in 2019 by Infrastrata breathed new life into the iconic facility. Despite registering a loss of almost £16 million, Harland & Wolf reported a 65% rise in revenues for the first half of 2023. Driven by a deal for the midlife upgrade and dry docking of a large floating production, storage and offloading vessel the Sea Rose. A consortium including Harland & Wolf along with BMT and Navantia UK, was also awarded the massive £1.6 billion contract for the Royal Navy's Fleet Solid Support FSS program. The Sea Rose will arrive at the Harland & Wolf Belfast dock in 2024 where it will remain for three months. The work will involve around 1,000 workers at its peak. Meanwhile, Bay Systems, a global defense, security and aerospace company, is also leaving its mark on the UK shipping industry through its cutting-edge technologies. With a focus on innovation and collaboration, Bay Systems is playing a pivotal role in shaping the next generation of naval vessels. BAE's involvement in the Type 26 and Type 31 frigate programs for the Royal Navy showcases the company's commitment to delivering state-of-the-art naval capabilities. These vessels incorporate advanced technologies, including stealth features, advanced radars, and sophisticated combat systems, ensuring the UK maintains a competitive edge on the high seas. The Type 26 and Type 31 frigates are not just vessels, they represent the pinnacle of technological excellence and strategic foresight. The increased work of Harland and Wolf and Bay Systems is an example of the currently diverse nature of the maritime industry in the UK. As Harland and Wolf diversifies into renewable energy, Bay Systems continues to push the boundaries of naval technology. A move that is sustaining the UK's industrial base, but also positioning the nation as a global leader in maritime innovation. Elsewhere, other UK-based shipyards have seen their fortunes increase recently. Birkenhead-based shipbuilding and repair company Kamel Laird recently announced a merger with A&P Group to form APCL Group Limited. In 2022, the company hosted the speech by then Prime Minister Boris Johnson who announced the national shipbuilding strategy Refresh. Since then one highlight of Kamel Laird's recent activities is the successful maintenance and refitting of four Royal Fleet auxiliary vessels. Reflecting the company's commitment to excellence and innovation, Kamel Laird executed significant modifications to the crane, deck machinery, and applied a full paint scheme and name change. All the additions to Kamel Laird's RFA cluster will receive ongoing support both domestically and in operational theatres across the globe. All three companies are not only invested in naval technology, but are also involved significantly in the next generation of shipbuilders. The company has also partnered with the Engineering College and Wirral met to encourage young people into the industry. The surge in activities for Kamel Laird also saw several other RFA vessels undergoing ship repair works at the company's yard. RFA Tiderarchy, a Tide-class replenishment tanker, underwent a major refit and regeneration work, while RFA Tide Surge is currently in the midst of an intense contractor support period. Additionally, RFA Fort Victoria, a Fort-class combined fleet stores ship and tanker, is undergoing essential maintenance. Bay Systems has recently announced that it will be adding 300 more apprentices and graduates to its workforce in Scotland in 2024. This reflects a strategic move to boost shipbuilding capacity at its facilities in Govan and Scotstoun, where the advanced Type 26 frigates for the Royal Navy are under construction. The ambitious initiative is part of Bay Systems' broader strategy to recruit almost 2,700 trainees across the UK. Both Bay Systems and Harland and & Wolfe have also invested heavily into upgrading their respective facilities. 
The latter has commenced upgrades to its historic Belfast shipyard in preparation for the Team Resolute's fleet solid support FSS contract with the Royal Fleet Auxiliary. The improvements, including a 5,000 square meters extension to fabrication halls and advanced shipbuilding techniques, will enhance the shipyard's capability to construct three 40,000-ton vessels for the Royal Navy. The FSS contract, awarded in January 2023, unlocked £77 million of investment and is expected to generate employment for 1,200 personnel at peak production. The leader of the House of Commons, Penny Mordaunt, and the Secretary of State for Defence, Grant Shapps, welcomed the developments as positive for the UK's maritime industry and national security. Harland and Wolf CEO John Wood highlighted the transformational impact of the £77 million investment on the shipyard's ability to undertake larger projects using cutting-edge manufacturing technologies. Additionally, Bay Systems has started a transformation of an unused dock at its governed shipyard in Glasgow as construction begins on a colossal ship-built hall. The hall, measuring 170 metres in length and 80 metres in width, is a core component of Bay Systems' £300 million modernization and digitalization initiative for shipbuilding facilities at Govan and Scotstoun. The hall, being constructed by McLaughlin and Harvey, will accommodate the simultaneous construction of two Type 26 frigates. In November 2022 Bay Systems secured a £4.2 billion contract with the Ministry of Defence to build an additional five Type 26 ships, augmenting the initial contract for the first three vessels. The new Type 26 frigates under construction are designed to provide a new war fighting capability for the Royal Navy. It is adaptable for various roles, including anti-submarine warfare, high-intensity air defense, and humanitarian aid missions. The new ship build hall, which will be constructed from over 6,000 tons of steel and 20,000 cubic meters of concrete, will be equipped with two 100-ton cranes and two 20-ton cranes. It will be able to host up to 500 workers per shift.